This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. We just heard the uh, gunshots, and me and my girl, we, we, we ran home. Joliet residents still reeling after the murders of eight people. This afternoon, we're learning seven of them were related to the killer. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. Authorities are still searching for a motive in the shooting that claimed eight lives, including two teens. WGN's Julian Cruz is in Joliet now with the latest. New details emerging today on the relationship between the Joliet mass shooter and his victims, but precisely what sparked the deadly rampage still a mystery this afternoon. I know the whole community is, is, is traumatized. Michael Mackin saddened about the news and the tragic loss of his neighbor, Toyoshi Bakari. I hope that his family you know, can heal from the, from the tragedy events. Mackin's hearing multiple gunshots Sunday at the Pheasant Run Apartments on Bradford Road. Will County Sheriff's deputies finding the 28-year-old Bakari with a gunshot wound to the head that would claim his life. Toyeshi, one of two random victims, investigators say, shot by the suspect, Romeo Nance. The second random victim suffering a non-life-threatening gunshot wound to the leg. Members of Nance's family not so fortunate. The 23-year-old gunman allegedly killing seven members of his own family Sunday afternoon on the 2200 block of West Acres Road, claiming the life of Tamika Nance, the 47-year-old mother, Christine Esther, a 38-year-old aunt, William Esther's the second, the 35-year-old uncle, Joshua Nance, a 31-year-old brother, Alexandria Nance, a 20-year-old sister, Alana Nance, a 16-year-old sister, and the siblings, 14-year-old sister. Romeo Nance, of course, leading U.S. Marshals and the FBI on a cross-country manhunt cornered near San Antonio, Texas, Monday night, where investigators say he took his own life. In Joliet, Julian Cruz, WGN News.